hello everyone so in this video what I'm going to show you is how you can make rest API authentication with Django in just a couple of minutes so without wasting time let's get started so I have created this Django auth folder which is just empty and I have open visual studio code in here so you can either go with right click open with code or you can just open with terminal and do code dot like I want to open the my code editor or vs code in this current directory so yeah you can do however you want you can just go to open folder and yeah basic stuff so first of all we will create our virtual environment so for that you must have this dependency installed so let me shift to this let me delete this so firstly you you must have installed virtual env so i have already installed so this that's why this is saying requirement already satisfied so now i can use this command to create our virtual environment so i will give this environment name env okay so this will take a couple of seconds and it will create our virtual environment so boom yeah so in this in windows what you how you can activate is go to the environment directory and go to the scripts folder and hit the activate command so you will notice your environment has been activated and now you can do is pip install django let me make this a little big oh sorry this is too big on and yeah we have installed so let's pip list we have installed our django so now we'll install pip install django rest framework and yeah our django rest framework is also installed and next we are going to create our project so start project my site and i will give the period sign so it can it will create the project in this current directory it will not create a folder and uh, create another subfolder and project in that so it will skip all of this and it will create our project in this current directory with the help of this period okay so let's run this project and let's see what do we have so, okay cool so our project has been initiated and we can see our default django page and now what we can do is migrate our database and to work with rest framework we also have to include our rest framework here and let's run the server again cool so our uh, server is running without any errors so our rest framework has been installed and next thing what do we need is pip install dj rest auth dj rest auth okay so you also need to google django rest framework simple jwt so i'll go this command so you can copy it from here so you can paste it here this this is pip install django rest framework hyphen simple jwt okay so i will also google for dj rest auth sorry so i will google dj rest auth and from here you can see how you can set up your jwt authentication and rest api authentication so we have installed installed over and we also have to register this in our installed apps so i will give it a comma and also yeah we have also installed rest framework and we will also do rest framework auth token okay so in url patterns we can include the urls of this package dj rest auth package in which we have inbuilt routes for our 
authentication and we can also we will also have to include our function import our include function and we can do this auth and yeah we are done so we have to run this command so we can just copy or just type or paste type or and to work with registration in rest api with django we have to install our django all auth package okay so we will install this also pip install pip install dj all auth django all auth sorry and we will also have to include this in the settings install apps we will have to move it above and we can also include these here and in our urls main project urls we can include this url in this url give a comma and auth registration this will include these urls and So if you want to include the auth providers like Facebook, you have to include all of these. But for now, I will skip all of these. And so let's let's test these. Oh, what I'm doing. So I will open Postman for this. So let's make sure our server is running. This was not running. So let me run it. And APIs. Mm -hmm. I have to create a new workspace. Rest auth, la la la. And yeah, here is our. So I will do is HTTP 127.0.0.1 And let's see what do we have here. So we don't have secure, make sure, and preview so our authentication url was this let's tp out let's see what the heck is wrong and if we go to our login so detail uh method get not allowed so so to log in we have to use post method and password field is required okay so in body we have to use raw and use it as json so log with with login we have to pass our username which is test so i haven't created this user but i will create so let's first create this user and there one two three okay so unable to log in with provide provided credentials so currently this user doesn't does not exist so that's why django is telling so that so that's why the response is that provided credential does not found and we can create create our user so firstly we will create our super user okay so let's first migrate okay so social token has been so, sorry social not token social accounts and account sites so these are all of the migrations of i think uh dj restaurant so now you can create your super user so i will give a test test at gmail.com test and did it one two three test and did it one two three so our super user has been created and our server is running in this tab and now we will go to postman and hit send okay so here this is our authentication token so this is not so efficient or this is not exactly what i expected so now what we have to do is we also need to set up this site id this is not mandatory but you can set this and to use 
simple so to use this JWT authentication we have to specify this variable in our settings py so let's add this and in here we have to add a dictionary which is this okay so you can remove these and I think this will now this will now work and let's go with our postman and it's still not working cool pip install so did we install that so let's run it again yeah we installed that and we also need to install this did we install that no So we are still getting this so so in our settings.py we have to set that rest use JWT in order to work with JavaScript web token okay mm, so I think this was rest use JWT is equal to true so true okay so let's hit our send again so let's use jwt yep so now we are also getting our access token and refresh token and we are also getting our user credentials so this way you can set up your authentication with django and i think so so let's get authenticated what I will do is copy this, create another URL. So, firstly, we will duplicate this, and in authorization, I will use barrier token and I will paste my token here. And let's see what was the URLs for getting our user. So, in installation, registration was so in here api endpoints you can see all of yours so we hit this url auth login and auth logout with the help of this you can log out from me log out from the current rest framework and you can also specify this variable mm, this variable to log out on get method and so these are the urls you can use so we remove this so you can use just auth change all of these and so firstly we need to get our user okay so in authentication let's you get our current user so we don't need post method we need get method so we are authenticated to our website now with the help of this barrier token and our rest api authentication is now working so you this way you can work with rest authentication uh, sorry rest api authentication in your in your django website and integrate with our, your favorite javascript framework